on this week's episode of Main Street Superback Roads. We're at Graveface Museum in Savannah, Georgia. with the red hair. So that's going to be Homer Tate's fish girl. Now Homer, he cut off his wife's hair, used teeth from his dead cat, and the leg of a mummified turtle to create that piece. Homer is also the gentleman that made all of the mummies that you're gonna see inside of the room as well. And he was doing most of this in the Arizona area in smaller towns that are located there. Homer is known as being the king of gaffs and the father of folk art. And gaff again, really just being, you're taking real life components and then you're turning them into something that looks like an anomaly existing in nature, but as we all know, they of course don't actually exist. So this, so this fella, you're gonna see him throughout the entire room. That's Homer, did all the fun creative things and such, and then he obviously took it pretty far at the end of his career, but that's gonna be it on him. So all of the wood that you're seeing on the walls came from an old burnt down Savannah voodoo house. Now this home belonged to Ophelia Baker, also known as Madame Truth. She was a local psychic and a fortune teller here in Savannah really well known throughout the 1900s. Unfortunately, her house did burn down a few years ago, but the owners of the museum were able to go inside. They saved and they rescued all of the wood that you're seeing from her home today.
I'm Chloe. I'm one of the owners at the Great Face Museum, and one of my favorite exhibits that we have up is the Ed Gein stuff. So all of the Gein related things actually came from the lead polygraph expert who worked for the Wisconsin State Crime Lab um, when Gein was arrested. So he's the one who conducted all the polygraph tests and interviews with Gein. Um, he's that one that's wearing the glasses in that photo up there with Gein beside him. So. Uh, his name is Joe Wolomovsky, and so this is all stuff that he personally kept from the case. No, it never was. But according to authorities who were with Gacy that morning, he made more than just an X on the floor. Museum, which is in um, downtown Savannah and it's in between the two main streets so it's on um, East Factors Walk and it's a little bit hidden but the door I think stays open when it's cooler and it's not so hot outside. Um, two stories of all kinds of oddities and curiosities. Okay that was really weird. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> anyway we really enjoyed it and um, they have a gift shop too for anything weird that you're looking to take home and we enjoyed it. We're gonna go grab some coffee. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and we'll bring you something new next week.